everybody, what's going on? It's Anaconda Squeeze, and we're back here in Skyrim on the PS4 with another mod review. Today we're looking at Joel Yolgear Barrow, I want to say it's how it's pronounced. Either way, brought to us by Archeris. Arch wow, these are, all these names are giving me like a little bit of an aneurysm. Yeah, so this is actually pretty cool. This is one of the first um, player homes I've actually found in Solstheim there. It is, let's pull up our map here just so I can show you. Let's zoom out way up in the north. Uh, it is north of the... I think it's called the abandoned shack here somewhere, but yeah, you will be able to fast travel to it right away. This is it right here. Getting up here though, uh, you're going to fast travel to the top of these stairs. There is a frost troll right when you wake up here. Uh, there's also going to be some bear traps set up, and there's a little tiny cabin right in front of here that has a couple gems and just some extra little stuff for us. But we're going to head right inside here and see what's going on. Now, I don't want to just correct myself because I did say player home, but I did not mean player home. This is not a player home. This is an extra little dungeon. Uh, I guess I'm just in a rut of all the player homes we are doing. This is a dungeon here in Solstheim, not a player home, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we are going to be using our guard weapons just to kind of blaze through it here, just to give us a little bit of an edge, just so you're not sitting here waiting for an hour-long video, because I don't know how long this is, because the mod page did not have a ton of details. So we are just going to whip through this a little bit faster here. Uh, the Everything seems to be stacked up to be about a mid to late level character level, and that's what it does say in the mod page. So just make sure like, you're not heading in here too quickly. I don't imagine anyone really would with this being on Soul's time. We're going to head over here and see what we can find through this big door. It looks like the only way to go. And I'm guessing Drog are going to pop out here and scare the tits off of us. I hear them. Where are they? I heard them. Ah, oh, there they are. Let's just take care of these guys pretty quick here. It's nice seeing uh, just some extra stuff being added, and especially with stuff in Soul's time. Like, you don't tend to get too much stuff coming down Soul's time. And, oh, a little extra door here. Oh, it's barred from the other side. So that looks like it's the way out, the secret passage that Skyrim's love for, where for some reason every dungeon has a convenient location, located exit right here, but you can't get to it for some reason. Let's go through here. I think I just said some reason like twice in a row, and that's dumb. Going through here. It is super warm up today. Oh my goodness. Now we are whipping through here because... Like, as I said, like, you don't want to sit in here watching me go through the whole thing. This is a quick little thing for you guys here. Let's get this master door unlocked and see what kind of loot we got going on in here. We're going to cheat a little bit with our unbreakable uh, lockpicks mod on. Oh, we're almost there. We got a little bit left to go. Oh, my God. You're kidding me. Let's go. All right there. Yeah. Heading in here, what do we got going on? I'm imagining some good loot should be in here. What are you, uh, what are you guys doing here? Is there literally nothing in this? Oh, there's an extra room right here, I'm just blind. And it's another locked door. Why would the second door be adept and the first door be a master lock? That makes little to no sense for me here. Like, that seems like it should be backwards, like... The less lock is... Oh, and all we get is a thing of healing, and watch this be locked, too. <laughs> Alright, so it's not really worth it going into this room here. Uh, unless I'm missing something very obvious, but I don't think I am, actually. Just a little sacrifice thing. Yeah, there's, I don't think I'm missing anything in here. It's just a master lock that gives you really nothing. So we're going to head out here. Nothing in this corner. Uh, we're not going to go through every single enemy here. We'll look for whoever like the main one at the end is and probably get that way. Hello, sir. What do we got over here? Some urns, some fun stuff that way. Uh, now, it doesn't look like it's very OP, which is good. Like It looks like it's actually very lore-friendly so far. What do we got right here is the draggers. Daedric Sword of Winter. Well, we could take that. That's not bad at all. Uh, Dragon Death Lord. Anything cool over here? Nothing too crazy. Yeah, very lore-friendly, which is nice. Like... There are times when we'll find the mods that are crazy OP and they work with like having crazy OP weapons like I do right now, but that's not what we're looking for right now. It's good to see something that is lore friendly, will fit with the main storyline, and isn't too insane. Let's get this door open here and see who's behind it. Hello! Going through here, just peeking around some caves. Okay, let's go around this way first. We'll take the outside loop. Spot our friend there. Hello! Let's go down this way. Nothing too crazy. Cause looks like it's the way out. Let's just put him to bed right away here before he comes up. Now let's go check out this way. 
So it looks like these might meet up. We'll check out here in just a moment. Zap. Yeah, they do meet up. That's not bad at all. It doesn't matter which way you go, you're still going to get to the exit here. Looks like it's... Where? Where is their exit? Let's try to find this area here. Let's go back. There we go, here's one. Oh, an expert door. Hopefully there's something actually fun in this one. Oh, I'm going to get really angry at you in a second here. Pop, lock, and drop it. Zap! Z oh, that was bad. Mm -hmm. There, punch for you. You just get a zap for fun, just because. Alright, anything too crazy going on here? It doesn't look like it. Looks like just some bonus enemies. Looks like maybe have something cool on it. No. Anything fun behind here? So yeah, just an extra room full of enemies, and that looks like about it. Okay, let's go this way. Double check every kind of nook and cranny here. Nothing too crazy. We can consult the map in just a sec. I thought for sure there'd be like an extra little door or something going on in here. Alright, let's take a look at the map here. Oh, okay, we're just dumb. Okay, we're already in that room with all them. We are going to turn to our left and head down there. Is it this way? What did I just look at? Yeah, okay, we're going to take our first left. Alright. And go down, double check our map. No, I am an idiot. We're just done. We said first left and we judged ourselves. Alright. No more messing around. Heading down here. Hello, buddy. How are you? Extra little thing for you there. Heading down this way. We've got a lovely man. Oh, that's going to hit me in a second. It really annoy me. A zap for you. And a zap for you. Oh, look, a friend who also wants a zap. Oh. Shoot. I mean, shoot. Shoot is what I meant. Shoot is the word that we should, should have used there. Oh, all right, looking through here, not too bad. Honestly, from looking through here, like it definitely is, like kind of like a mid-level. I could see it being a slightly late-level uh, playthrough here. Like nothing too crazy. Hey, friend. Uh, I've definitely seen a lot worse uh, modded as far as level goes. Like I've seen a lot of higher-up ones that just really. Really, they, they throw a ton of death lords and all they do is shout at you when you get knocked around a lot and it ends up not being fun and that's kind of what I like about this one so far is I've been able to walk pretty casually just around this oh hello sir like yeah that's nice but it's when you get a thousand of them just all hitting you at the same time and you fall down you can't seem to get back up it's just no fun walking through here that is a dead end this is the way we want to go through the secret cave what the oh my Guy seems to be a little bit drunk. Heading down here, we're in a kind of a fun cave level. Let's go this way first and kind of peek what's going on. Is this anything crazy? What is this? Is this the way out? Alright, well, let's come back to this one. I think that's the way we're supposed to go, but I want to check out the rest of this cave first just to see what's going on. Alright. Well, let's have a peek at the map here and see if we can find out. Oh, it looks like they both kind of go some crazy way. This is a very extensive cave. We might not even hit all of it. It, might, it looks like it has like, multiple paths. Okay, we're going to take this one here first. I'm going to see what's going on. See if we loop back around to the other one at all. Let's get underwater here. We are going in, so there is no... Uh, there's no air needed. Hello, slaughterfish. So there are slaughterfish in the water, so heads up there, guys. Um, can I get on this ramp, please? Thank you. Running around. Lots of mushrooms. Lots and lots of mushrooms just kicking around here. There'll be lots of potion ingredients. Walk along that ledge. Was that it? Is that all this is? Is it just a big area? 
Oh, looks like there's something more over there. Let's head over that way. Let's head over this side and see what's going on. I feel like something is wrong. I keep hitting like invisible barriers that kind of like push me to the edge. Oh, hey, watch out you. Alright, what else is over here? This looks about nothing. Alright, let's head back out the way we came. And we will go the other way. Maybe it wasn't so much invisible barriers as it was slaughterfish. Oh, that's right, there's this way. It goes to the same area, probably. Yeah. Alright, so that goes the same way. That's kind of a... Basically, I go this route just to get more potion ingredients, is what I'm detecting so far. There are air pockets the whole way around, so you should be able to get some breathing going on. Let's head out here. Let's go back this way. Take a peek down over here. All right, where are we going? There's a lot of water. Oh, there we go. We got uh, controls, some more slaughterfish. Oh, that was a perfect dodge. Well done, sir. More slaughterfish, some trolls going on. And this kind of grotto area. Sorry, sorry. What's going on this way? That's like another way out. Looks like this leads back to the area we were in. Did we miss that one the first way? Let's have a quick peek down this way just to see what's up and exactly how we missed it. It has been a while since we did one of these dungeon ones. I do apologize there. Okay, yeah, so this does just loop around. We're just blind as a bat. All right. It loops around there. Uh, looks like more potion ingredients throughout here. Flowers, death bells, stuff like that. A couple trolls. Going through this way here. Another troll man. More potion ingredients. Lots of mushrooms. Like, there are tons of mushrooms in this one here. All right. Which way do we want to head here? I think we're definitely good to go this way for a... Oh, that way goes back. Skeever down there. Let's give him a quick little zap in the booty hole. And a zap in your face. Excellent. Let's go this way. Extra little way down here. Hey, get back here, you little bastard. Oh, you see that rocket? Oh, my. That guy launched out there. Here's the main room. This is the main room we we're going to look for. That's the one that you see in all the pictures. Like this, for being a mod that had a very small description and not a lot of like pictures or stuff given us, this has been like a really nice experience actually. Like it's very extensive. There's, it's very lore friendly. There's lots going on. Oh, hello, Snow Prince. So here's the background. It's the final resting prince is the last snow elf prince known as the Snow Prince. And this is him. So we're going to fight him. Uh, we are going to switch over to uh, some of our less OP weapons here, just to kind of give you guys a slight idea of what you're going to be dealing with here. We do have some ebony katanas. They are epic. Uh, what do we have that we can actually play with? Just to give you a quick look at what you're going to be dealing with and how to kind of deal with it. At this point, you should be, like I said, uh, mid to level or mid to late level. Actually, let's use this sword here. This is the sword they gave us in the game, like in the mod itself. So let's have a peek here. Let's give him a quick little jab yeah let's see he's already it's not the worst thing in the world but it's definitely not great and this is just the one sword that, yeah like you would be taking a lot of damage from him here uh let's get out of this way let's kind of go see our other ebony katana and how much that's going to do to him about the same there yeah so you guys should totally be able to fight this guy it should be very doable we are going to cheat here and we're going to get him out of the way so we don't spend a whole like 20 minutes fighting this guy. Zap. That's what I thought, sir. Alright, let's look at what he's got for us. He's got bone meal and gold. That is what the Snow Prince has for us today. But there are chests, so don't worry. That's not all you're getting stuck with. What do we got here? The Snow Prince's boots. Let's take those. Snow Prince's gauntlets. His crown and his armor. Let's look in his chest. Soul gems, diamonds, alteration potions, gold... A uh, necklace of major deft hands for pickpocketing, uh, leather brazers, circular archery, ebony boots, and a staff of chain lightning. Alright, so that's not the best thing in the world. Let's look at this guy's armory here. 
Let's go down all the way through our gigantic amount of armor and stuff. We are going to have to get rid of these things very soon, I think. All the way down to the S's. Let's get all the way through here. We are going to be getting rid of this. All right, Snow Prince's armor. Increases light armor skill. Uh, increases frost resistance and magic re regenerates. Destruction spells are 15% less. Two-hand attacks are 15% more damage. That's not bad. Like It's not a great um, set of armor, but it's definitely not a bad set. Um, in all honesty, like it's, I don't know, I, I'd be kind of disappointed. I feel like there could have been like a little bit extra in here. Maybe if the Snow Prince had a better weapon, if we got his weapon or something like that, that'd be cool. Either way, not a bad dungeon, and it's not over yet, so we're going to do a quick little explore here of what goes on upstairs, because this looks fun. Like I like this. This looks is a really nice room. I'm glad that they used this room. All right, let's get out of here. Open this door. Anything over there? Nothing over there. Heading up this way. Oh no, frostbite spiders! No, stop it! No. Oh, that was a bad shot. I do like it when dungeons do this though. Like you beat the boss, and like it's not just all of a sudden, okay, and you're done. Nah, uh, because in a perfect world. Like, why wouldn't there be something at the end here? So that's cool. It's nothing too crazy. It's not like we're going to fight like an, an even stronger opponent after this. But you do still have something, which is cool. And it looks like we have a chest right here hidden in... Oh, it looks like it was ready to go already. Let's go right there. Be something fun. It seems to have better loot than the master lock we went through earlier. Down this way. Up the stairs. This is our barred door. Perfect, and we've done it. We've successfully completed this dungeon. We fought the Snow Prince. We got all of his armor there. It was not bad. Honestly, it was not a bad dungeon. It's actually quite big. Uh, it was really well done. It was beautiful looking. Like, it was definitely, like, great looking. Uh, it looks like there was even, like, a little tunnel we did not explore fully down there. So that's not the end of the world. All in all, guys, this is not a bad dungeon to have. It gives you some extra experience, gives you some extra loot. You do get a little bit more fun in your gameplay just by having extra levels, and that's honestly what I like about Skyrim is the fact that it gives you so many options to have more levels. People create dungeons, people create houses, there's so much things to do, and the PS4 mod community has definitely taken it and ran, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So definitely go look in the description below for the link for this mod, guys. Check it out yourselves. Uh, if you enjoyed this video at all, don't forget to show your support and like the video. And if you guys haven't already, definitely subscribe. Uh, that number goes up every day of our subscriptions, and I'm loving it. We're back doing some fun stuff. we got good internet. we got new stuff coming. Uh, we will be doing a lot more announcing and uh, interaction with you guys, the fans, uh, through Twitter here. Uh, so definitely follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, or we're going to be doing some stream. Well, we are going to be doing some exclusive streams on Twitch here coming up. Uh, in the next month, so make sure you check out there. If not, guys, follow me on Twitter, and I will be announcing all my stream times. I'll be announcing any upcoming events, any new games. We'll be doing surveys on what games maybe you should play at next, if you guys have any suggestions, so definitely check all those out. And until next time, I'm Anaconda Squeeze, and I will see you all fucking later. Bye!